Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and I hope you're ready for a galactic adventure because we're going to be checking out Void Train, the full release of Void Train. This is something I have been waiting for for a couple years now. I was super impressed with the demo of this game. Uh, but yes, now it's going to be fully released, and we are going to get back into it, waste no time, and uh, start a new game here. Now, there is a bit of a cutscene here to kind of explain what this game is all about. So I'm going to keep it in because uh, it's really, really good. And uh, yeah. I'm super pumped to get back Sometimes into this because it's so good. Adventure beckons so much, it's pointless to resist it. Some people find enough courage to get on a train and head off into outer space. Yes, trains can go to space in this game, no. by the way. Also, no. Wrong again. These are all wrong stories. Ah, there it is, the forest. This train was passing through impenetrable, dense forests. However, that was not a nameless journey, but a long way up here, right into the heart of the endless snowy nowhere. A perfect place for those who prefer tranquility, silence, and minus 45 degrees outside the window. Sounds fantastic, if I, if I do say so myself. the man who made off into this palace of silence, the engineer. He'll be here on watch duty for many long and cold months, until the next lucky guy strides in to replace him. If one comes through at all, of course. But there's no need to feel sorry for him. Although the terrain is wild, there's plenty to see and do around here. Especially if you're curious enough. Fortunately for my story, engineers are almost always inquisitive and attentive. These people notice things that elude the average person. Look closely, okay. What is this? And everything would have been fine in this adventure. What did I just do? It had not started at the wrong time. The chilly wind blew the engineer off the trail, uh -oh. which he immediately lost sight of. His fingers instantly turned into ice like everything else around him. The last hope of salvation, a map of the terrain, treacherously slipped out of his hands. What an introduction. We're totally the lost. Thing, Great. The video's timing didn't allow the engineer to suffer for long. All of a sudden, in the middle of snowy nowhere, it appeared. A door to... Where to, by the way? The building didn't seem to be on the engineer's maps. Anybody home? This is how it all usually starts. All right, so we're a lost engineer, and we don't even have the train yet, so we're not going to be able to get out of here. So I didn't, didn't really explain this game much, but basically... There's things called voids in this game, and essentially they're portals. And we can jump between worlds on said portals if we have the train, of course. I'm assuming I'm going to get the train here in a second. Let's just try and figure out what's going on. We're basically in a tutorial right now. Uh, first and foremost, we probably need some power, so... I don't think that's going to help, but, I mean, you may as well if hit I it in you, rage. I'd look for a key. Or okay. something that looks like a key. Maybe just something heavy. You know what? Let's look for something heavy. Oh, it's in the box right here, isn't it? That is not a key. Uh, what's in this one? Well, I don't think that's going to help. Just use that. <laughs> the animations in this are so good. Hmm, there we go. That's up. what I need. Oh, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, dude, that's dope. So is that my inventory system? What is that? Oh, you put it in that one. You put it in the wrong one, you silly goose. All right. Now we should be able to open this with the power of a hammer. I love this already. Oh, I'm just break there's everything. Nothing left to fix with a hammer. Any other ideas? Uh, a chisel. All right, how the hell do I repair this? Oh, that one's definitely a little broken, it looks like. So I need to find one of those, and then we should be good, I'm assuming. Or you just, just tape it up. Where the hell did you get the tape from? Well, that worked. That's the important part. There we go. <laughs> good as new. The animations are so good. I love it so far. And so my glorious hero, having yes. passed all the hardships of his watch, finally obtains a light in order to... Hmm. To notice something strange on the table? Oh, thank you, narrator. Yeah, let's uh flip that switch, maybe. There we go. Let there be power. C come on. <laughs> oh, it worked. Okay. Dude, uh, I don't think any game has made me laugh without any dialogue. This is fantastic. Oh, uh, well, there's our first void. And that means we're going on adventure. Why are you getting on the table? <laughs> I 
are you on the table? Oh, it's pulling me in. There we go. Grab it. Oh, no. Did I lose my train? Entering the void. Here we go. Hey, you all right? I don't know. Oh, you're finally awake. Hmm. A typical day on watch, huh? All right, dude. I'm so ready. This is giving me Subnautica vibes already. I think that's just that small creature. Oh, I have missed this game so much. It's been two years since I last played. They said they were going to have it out the same year. So obviously they've been uh, focusing more on development. Uh, I really hope there's a bunch of new things because this was a fantastic game. All right, there we go. We got little guys here moving in the void. All right, so yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we could just fly anywhere. Uh, and then we can pull with this. Hold F to pull the train. Or pull up to the train. There we go. I just had to get rid of that message. And then we can pull back. So yeah, we are in zero G. At least on this world. So we are tethered in. As long as that tether stays, we should be okay. And I guess right now it wants me to grab this. So we got a diary. Active quests as well as collected information about the game world. Alright, so J... I love how it literally makes me open the diary as the next part of this quest line. Okay, great. I've done that. And we have a bunch of other things here. All right. I guess now we can get forward here. How do I get on? Oh, my God. I'm having a hard time getting on my trolley. It's a bad sign. All right. Is this the brake? Yep. Switch the brake. Don't punch the brake. Switch it. We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. I want to go this way. Transmission handle. Well, pretty much. Try pulling the other lever. Thank you. Is it not this one? What the hell one is it? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing wrong? Oh, God. Okay, now it is this one. All right, now I'll let go of the brake. Why was that so difficult? All right, so this is new. The speed of the trolley. Press E during the minigame. Hitting the bonus will give you more acceleration energy. Do I want to accelerate? I want to loot right now. Um, Yeah, there's like... Is that loot? Hold on. Hold on. Just give me that. Yep, there we go. Let's not rush this. This is all going to be really useful. Hey, hey, little guy. What the hell are you? Whoa, that's cool. Okay, so that's like a jetpack back. All right, I guess we can try this thing now. And oh, I am, I am a, I'm really good at this. All right, new quest, improvisation. So I need one more leather, it looks like. Yeah, you know what? I, let's just go slow. Let's not rush this. Hit the brakes. We got lots of loot around. We do not want to rush into this game because I think the further we go, the harder it gets. So you want to get as much as you can. All right, I got everything I need. So now we can get our first thing, which is the research table. Allows for researching technologies, so we shall throw that. Um, actually, do I want it in the back? I think I want it in the back. So we're going to rotate it to the back. And there we go. I wonder if we can expand this later. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. I just saw the uh, wood plank, so I think we could add more to this. Um, research smelter one technology. All right, plus smelter one. I'm assuming we need to find blueprints later. But now I need to build said smelter. Uh, not enough resources, so I need two copper, it looks like, or some sort of metal for that. Okay, I got everything for my smelter now. Actually, how much does it cost to do this? 13 out of 2. Why? Okay, let's get a wooden floor, maybe. Oh, uh, that doesn't expand it out. I can't even build it yet, because I'm assuming I need to build the foundation first. And if I remember correctly, I think you do that at, like, terminals or something. Um, so yeah, I guess we're gonna have to have a tight corridor for now. And just put this kind of back here. Perfect. Uh, first of all, we need some fuel for this, so we'll throw... I guess we put them all in? Oh, I can choose how many I want to put in. Let's put five in for right now, and we will smelt a bar. Uh, I'm just gonna do one for right now. And I don't know why the fuel didn't stay in there, but okay. Wait, do I need to have ten in there to fill it? Maybe I have to actually add ten. There we go. I guess that was it. Alright, and create. And it did want me to make an iron bar, so I did that right. Perfect. And there we go. Research and build container one. All right, so getting myself my first storage. That's exciting. And now I can build that with, I'm assuming, the iron bar that I needed. Not enough resources. I need two iron bars. Okay, we shall get another one. All right, so I got my other iron bar. I guess I need to add this to finish it. And there we go. Now we can open it. Is that what you want? And uh, now I need to build a workbench. Dude, I'm not going to have any space on here. I don't like this. All right, so it says two phases. So phase one, I need to do zero out of three things. So it looks like I need just a bunch of bars right now and a little bit of wood, obviously. So I guess we'll just continue to uh, collect resources. This thing's following me. So that tells me I can't backtrack. So it's uh, why I'm intentionally going so slow. I do not want to miss resources. 
I'm hoping I can craft something that auto loots. I don't remember if there was anything like that in the demo of this game, but a lot of my time is just swimming around collecting resources right now. All right, so I completed the workbench. Now I can complete the basic components. I like this, that it's in tiers. It's actually really cool. And do I have everything for this? I do. Okay, so I got everything done. Uh, is this only part one of two, though, it said? Or was that all part of it? Yeah, now we need to get lab one and chemical components. I'm not even sure where I get those items. Maybe I have to build this first. I don't know where I get the wire and springs either, so... This is getting complex already. So I'm assuming those come from the workbench. Being that I researched the basic workbench, I've unlocked that. So I need two more iron bars to make that. And then I can assume I can build these springs and whatnot. So we got enough for two. No, we don't. We need to find a little bit more scrap, but uh, we should be able to build that workbench at least. Okay, now we got enough for the workbench <laughs> again. I hate that I don't have any space here, but that's fine. We'll put the workbench over here. Now I'm assuming I can create, yeah, the things that I need. So I need copper. I believe I needed that and that. So again, we're sticking with the same metals. And I don't have any metal left, so we got to continue forward here. Okay, so I got everything to make the first upgrade. So first of all, we need a spring. And then we need the copper wire. Now I can finish up this, which will give me lab one. Don't tell me I have to put that down as well. <laughs> I'm going to have no space to move on this damn thing. And I also need chemical components. Again, I have no idea how to get these. So I'm assuming lab gives us that. So we are, I am correct. I probably do have to build the lab. And let me guess, I can make the green juice now. Fuel, so we need fuel for this. And yes, okay, so we have everything we need for that. What do I use for fuel with this? Fat? Ew. Sturdy wood fertilizer, sterilizers. I think all I have is wood right now. So we'll add a little bit of wood to this. And I believe I needed two of these, if I remember correctly. So we'll do the two. And look at that. Our lab's working. Everything is going well. Let's keep moving forward so we can loot more, not waste any time. Okay, now we got the two unstable chemicals. Complete technology stage three. Oh, I'm so dumb. That's right. I needed the green stuff for this. And I'm assuming that's technology stage three, right? Now that we have everything. Yeah, now we're on phase four. Research and build container rack one can i maybe research and build adding more to this damn train container rack one all right so that's this thing uh i need iron and something i've never seen and everything else i've seen so i gotta figure out what that cylinder thing is all right so we have everything that we need for the container rack now except space evidently jesus um okay i can put it right here now i'm hoping i can move that container that i already put down uh let's see if we can can I not move this? Okay, so I figured out how to move it. We have to get our hammer out, and then we can relocate. It costs one wood to move things. That's kind of evil, but I kind of love it as well. All right, so there we go. Now we can at least store a little bit more. Research and build kitchen one. Dude, <laughs> I don't like the fact that I have, like, no room. All right, so yeah, this is definitely going to be the building episode. I kind of love that the game is forcing me to do all this building at the start, though, because... Uh, these are all going to be really useful. So, yeah, we need pretty much everything once again. And I used all my resources, so we're going to continue forward, gather some more, refine some more, and then get the kitchen. Uh-oh. I just realized we are at the door. I'm hoping to get the kitchen done beforehand. Hold on. Let's stop. Uh, so, yeah, this is our first void. So, we are going to be leaving this world. Obviously, I'd rather not do that until I at least get my kitchen done. Uh, we are very, very close to it, so we should be able to find the resources that we need around here, hopefully. But yeah, that's why I was taking so much time, because I did play the demo of this, and I realized that there is an end to this. Uh, so yeah, you want to take your time and find as many resources as possible. Okay, now we can make this. Uh, there it goes. Where am I going to put it? I don't know. I guess over here. I hope it's small. Let's see if I have everything that I need. So kitchen, where is the kitchen? There we go. Oh, I need one more wire, one more bolt, and one more cog. Okay, so we'll build the cog. Man, you have to use all the stations just to place these things. I really like this. I definitely want to change the layout. Put the um, workbench by the smelter, for example, because I constantly have to run across. Uh, but yeah, I'm not worried about layout right now. I'm just trying to get everything down. Okay, now I should have everything for the... Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Kitchen. Perfect. And we can put it down, maybe. <laughs> I guess we'll put it over here. Or, or not. Okay, there we go. Perfect. 
All right, so now we actually have to create. We need fuel for that. Good thing I have lots of logs. I'm not going to put too many in here, but I just want to see how we do this. So we can do grilled organics or water. Well, I do know I have lots of ice, so let's do a couple waters. Um, I don't know what the difference is, but we may as well use this if we have it. All right, and yeah, that gives me 10% uh, food. I don't know how water gives food, but okay. So I shall use one of those and at least have a little bit of food on my bar. So it's not much food, but hey, it's something. It is water after all. So we'll do some grilled organ organics as well, just to see if this gives us anything better. I'm assuming it will. And here we go through our first portal or void. I don't know if the worlds are randomly generated or what it is. Dude, this is so cool, though. I love this premise for this game. Just constantly teleporting between worlds. All right, I did get the other uh, cook thing as well. Does that give us... Okay, it's just 10% food as well. So it seems like all these foods are exactly the same. Regardless, who cares about food? Oh, God. Because we are going to a new world right now. And... Or not. New quest stop. Of course, stop. I didn't expect to be greeted with balloons and fanfare, but where is everybody? All right, so in the demo, this I don't think this was a thing. There was essentially just stop zones where you could upgrade your train. There wasn't like worlds I like this, I don't believe. About it, but I have no idea. All right, so this is all gibberish, obviously a different language. Um, we are on an alien world after all. Can I mine that? Nope. All right, it wants me to go in here. I'm a little worried I'm going to be attacked or something. Ooh, loot. Loot is always good. All right, uh, I don't know if that steam can damage me. Um, I don't want to find out, so let's go. Yes, I need scrap. I need lots of scrap. Corrupt. Ah, I knew that steam would burn me, damn it. It's a good thing I ate a little bit. I should retain a little bit of health, but I'm basically starving again. Poor thing. Well, the goddesses oh. of time and fate can't weave a long life path for everyone. Hello. Well, can I have that? At least he won't be needing the revolver yes. anymore. It won't let me take the gun. Take the revolver. I, I'm pressing. Okay, there we go. There was like a cooldown or something. Yes. My first weapon. Oh, we do have a blueprint. Um, New note added to the journal. Let's see what that's all about. All right. So this is just about the scientists got here when these soldiers were already here. The scientist has either already had or took something of value to these guys. My guess is that he's looking for a way to build a portal again, or he's searching for something else here. Something more valuable. There's a picture of his family in his notes. Is it his family? All right. Um, so yeah, we didn't get much else. The combination of the oh. safe right out in the open. Oh, that was a great idea. Thank you, narrator. But Where? Don't ever do the same thing, okay? Yeah, always hide your combinations. Open the safe. I didn't even see the combination, but okay. Thank you. <gasps> I got an idea. We're gonna need those parts soon. All right, now we just get out. Can I shoot this? Hell yes. I. Oh, that was satisfying. Wow, super satisfying. Okay, I think the combat's gonna be really cool in this game. Now about my brilliant uh, idea and the details. The console on the attack. platform looks suspiciously similar to the device in the blueprints. It was mentioned there in the train upgrade paragraph. Okay, so is this how we build the train? I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. I remember this part. Ooh, look at me. <laughs> I am a sight for sore eyes. So yeah, we can add more to the train here. Uh, I'm a little overwhelmed. Build a module, upgrade wagon, add wagon. Not enough resources. I need one of those thingies to get that. Build a module. What is that? Okay, so I can add more transmission handles, brakes. Um, so I can essentially add controls everywhere on this. That's actually really cool. So when this gets big, maybe I'll add one in the front and the back. I can also upgrade my wagon. I'm assuming that's for HP. I'm going to see if I can make whatever this thing is that I need. So it looks like I need a bearing and possibly a bolt. I don't have that image though, but I have the bearing in here. At least I think that's what this is, right? And then it may be, maybe it's the spring actually. I thought it was a bolt. I think it's a spring. So if I make these, maybe it will work. Mind you, I don't think I have enough iron unless I just looted a bunch. I'm, I have one. Yeah, I can't, man, I can't upgrade it because I'm going to need at least two iron. Oh, please. Yes! <laughs> I decided to go back and look, and I did miss a chest. I believe I only needed one scrap, so I should at least be able to get a second wagon. Oh, wait. I still need that other piece as well. I forgot about that. What does it take to make that? That is on the other bench here, the lab, I believe, and that is made with these. I have those. Okay, six. So we're going to create that. Uh, we just got our iron, so now we need the bearing and spring, I believe. Oh, God, I hope this is right. All right, so we'll make the spring... And now that we have these, we shall make the bearing after that. And hopefully this is what we needed. Not enough space. Oh, God, I need, I need a bigger inventory. All right, so bearing. 
And I really hope this is right because it just shows us an image. I'm pretty sure those were the two things on the image. And now we should be able to add a wagon. And... I have everything. I have the spring and the bearing. It says not enough resources. So is that not a bearing and a spring and that's like something else? Okay, I definitely did something wrong because I can upgrade the wagon. That's a cog and a piston, it looks like. So did I build, did I actually build the wrong thing? Is that not the spring and the bearing? I'm, oh, I'm sad. I need, I wanted the wagon. I guess we're here, so we may as well upgrade an it. Engineer. Oh. Truly an engineer. What? I, what? <laughs> so is adding the wagon adding the platform? Because we've upgraded it now. We just don't have the flooring. And what do I need for the flooring? I can build the flooring. Okay, let's build the flooring. And there we go. So much more room for activity. So not sure what happened there. I guess adding another wagon is literally adding like a new wagon. I can expand the size of this wagon, I guess. Um, and yeah, now we have so much more room for activities, which is my major goal right now. Now I just need to work on my inventory because... Uh, yeah, we don't really have much of that. But yeah, I think it's a good time to wrap up this first episode here. I have been waiting years for this game now, and uh, it just feels so good. It's It reminds me a lot of Raft in the premise of, you know, exploring to collect resources and fighting off scary enemies. We haven't seen many enemies yet, uh, but I have a sneaky suspicion we are going to now that we have this thing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look into Void Train. Please hit that like button and let me know if you would like to see more, because I would love to do more if you guys are enjoying it, of course. As always... Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.